success can take time. And sometimes when we're not even sure if we were if we were successful, it takes time to find out if we were successful or not. When we first moved to Canada, we lived in a little house uh, off the Rishan Road, north of Dryden. And um, it was a, an older house. It was a small house. And, and one evening, we were sitting in the living room uh, with our children who were young at the time. And um, all of a sudden, there was like the living room and the kitchen were at one end of the house. And then there was a hallway. The bathroom was on the right side going back the hallway. And then there were two bedrooms at the back uh, at the other end of the house. And while we were sitting in the living room one evening, a bat came flying front the hallway and into the living room. <laughs> we all scrambled for cover. And, uh, and well, I'm the man of the house, right? So I'm supposed to do something. I didn't know what to do. And uh, this bat was flying around our house and I didn't know how to get rid of it. I didn't know what to do. And so I thought, well, maybe I can hit it with a broom. So I got a broom and I was swinging at the bat with the broom, but you know, the bats use sonar and it would just kind of, it would just, it would just dodge the boom, the broom. And so I wasn't having very much success hitting it, but I was chasing it back and forth, back to the bedroom and then front to the living room. And, and uh, finally in the living room, I hit the bat with the broom and I heard it hit the wall. So I knew I had hit the bat. I felt it when I was holding the broom and I heard the bat hit the wall. But we couldn't find the bat. And I looked, looked, we looked all over and it was no longer flying around, but couldn't find it. And um, we searched and searched and we kind of knew which wall it should have hit and where it should be. We moved furniture. We looked all around. We couldn't find anything. We couldn't find that bat anywhere. And finally, we gave up. Well, in a few days, our living room started to smell like a dead mouse. And we searched some more because we knew that bat was there somewhere and it was dead and it was decaying in our living room. But we could not find it. And we hunted <laughs> what we thought was everywhere. No bat. Couldn't find it. Well, later on, months later, when Edith was doing house cleaning, she took the pictures off the walls and to clean. And when she took the picture off the wall, the, one of the pictures off the wall, a bat fell out from behind the picture. Here, when the picture's hanging on the wall, it has, it has just a little bit of a, the bottom of the picture was against the wall, the top of the picture was just you know, an inch away from the wall and the bat had hit the wall above the picture, fell down behind the picture and there it died. And that's where it was. So we looked everywhere. I thought I was successful. There was no bat flying around the house, but I wasn't really sure what had happened to the bat until we find it, until we found it, that it had fallen behind the picture. And that's where it was all those months.